what is this even about? We got sound effects on the unboxing experience. This is when you really need a boost. And on this side of the power brick, two separate ports. Turbo charge. And it shows, the animation shows that it's getting power from both spots. That is sick. 33% turbo charge, dual input, zero to 50% in 10 minutes, full battery in 30 minutes. And that's 5,000 milliamp hours total of power. And the way they achieved that was by splitting the battery units into two. So you're actually charging two separate batteries with two separate chargers. But as far as your phone's concerned, it's gonna operate like a single 5,000 milliamp hour battery. Cool. Just recently, I'm looking at the uh, Red Magic 5S. I've got it over here, actually. And this phone, it really surprised me uh, for the price, the features that it packs in, the fit and finish, the sound quality, the fast display, uh, the built-in fan. I mean, yes, it was iterative. And it, we, we saw the 5G, the Red Magic 5G model just a few months prior to it, but this segment of the market is heating up real fast. And I might be even more excited for this one that's in front of me now than that one from the previous video because this one kind of takes things to another level. And it's not a company I've looked at a lot in the smartphone area. I talked about this device on Lou Later not that long ago and being excited for it. And here it is. Can you imagine that? It's right in front of me. This is the Lenovo Legion Phone Dual. Dual because it's got all kinds of dual stuff inside of it. It's got a crazy spec list. You look over here at the side, 16 plus 512 GB. That's 16 gigs of RAM, 512 gigs of storage. This one is in the Vengeance Red color. And I also happen to know it's got a Snapdragon 865 Plus inside of it. It's just a powerhouse in a number of ways. It can charge off multiple USB. It has two batteries. I mean, it's just, it's a different thing. It's another level. What is going, what is this even about? We got sound effects on the unboxing experience. That's extra points, certainly for that. So the phone sits over here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna remove that. What else is in here? Look at this. Stylish on the outside, savage on the inside. Savage. So what's inside of here then? Just a little bit of paperwork. Ah, SIM card tool. You gotta have the stylish game ready case as well in the X pattern. So the styling carries through. Well, it's clear. So you're gonna see the phone styling, which certainly is about to be aggressive. Quick start guide. This, uh, this is a USB type C to typical traditional 3.5 mil audio jack. So you need an adapter. I guess the Red Magic gets a few extra points. It still has a headphone jack on it, but not a big deal for a phone like this. Also in the package, we have a USB type C to C cable. We have a USB type C to C cable, though they have different a different appearance to them. This one is obviously smaller, but it also has some red accents on it. Well, why don't I just go ahead and crack into this, Kirk? That's kind of the point of this channel. It's called Unbox Therapy. I don't know if you heard the name yet. So you unbox things. This one says 5A on it for five amps, I presume. And uh, this gives you a better look at the red accent on there as well. It's a robust cable. Now the other one looks to be a little bit longer, but still robust seeming. And this one actually has the SS super speed indicator on it for USB. All right, cool. The power brick is tremendous. Dual, hence the name Dual. Now this is an engineering sample, by the way. And this is, this is a really magical thing for a person like myself who pays attention to the recharge speed of things, the fast charging, particularly on a device like this, which is very power hungry. How does this thing work? What is the story with this? High capacity, 5,000 milliamp hour battery, thanks to dual 2500 
milliamp hour batteries placed into gamers grip areas on either side of the central logic board. Two 2,500 milliamp hour batteries inside of here. All right, that's like, that's more than double an iPhone SE 2020 inside of one singular smartphone. Now, what about when you go to recharge it? By inventing advanced methods to better dissipate heat with dual liquid cooling and copper tubes, plus moving the dual 2,500 milliamp hour batteries off to the sides where gamers' hands would rest, versus for forcing them to touch the warm logic board and casing the processor, Lenovo made the handset easier to hold while extending gameplay without the fear of overheating. So they, they took into consideration the location of the batteries on this unit in order to save your hands from having to touch the hot bits when you're gaming. You wouldn't want to be distracted. This thing feels robust. But what about the recharge? Here we go. A convenient center charge port means your cord won't get in the way while catching a battery boost. Gaming in landscape, you can have full 90 watt turbo power charging from the center and side ports. Go from zero to 50% in 10 minutes and a full charge in 30 on a gaming phone with 5,000 milliamp hours. Huh. Wow, okay, so this is, I'm, yeah. There's some cool stuff happening in here, that's for sure. Uh, and that's why you have the double ports on there. This, this thing, it feels very robust. I should mention, I think uh, many people will even have just a kind of plugged in gaming experience. People, it's crazy what's happening, 2020. People are doing competitive gaming on the smartphone. You gotta stay wired up, you need lots of power. Okay, very good. All right, we wiped it out, that's that. Sweet. All right, time for the main attraction, the Lenovo Legion Phone Duo. Ooh, ah. powered by Android. What? Hold up, is there a screen protector on here? What am I looking at? Oh, we're booting up in landscape. That's very interesting. So the styling follows through to the front of the device on the wallpaper. You have, oh my goodness gracious. You have the light up logo on the back. You have the dual camera units over there. Savage inside, stylish outside. I gotta get this sticker off, obviously. Now, this region right here does some pretty fancy stuff. That's actually a front-facing pop-out camera meant to work in landscape mode when you're gaming. It just pops right up, and then you can do live streaming on Twitch or whatever from your mobile, which is pretty wild. We also have these red Lenovo accents over here on the side. The whole thing feels very robust. There's your second USB Type-C port. Again, for landscape usage, they've really thought about what a gamer would want in a gaming phone. And of course, you're gonna wanna be able to play plugged in without being distracted by the portrait port, which is where you wanna grip, where your hand's gonna hold. So these indicators on the top are gonna be your shoulder buttons, I suppose, capacitive touch. Now, they're a little bit less descriptive to your fingers than you have on the Red Magic 5S, which actually has an indent in the frame, so you know exactly where those triggers are. I'm gonna try this out. I'll, I'll decide if it's an issue or not. Probably not, but it's worth noting. We have a volume rocker on the left side and then your power switch on the right side. Funny enough, the power switch looks to be part of the pop-out section, so I'm really curious to see how that works. And look there, you have your light up. So cool. Look at that, RGB, you gotta have it in a gaming phone. Now I don't know, maybe the default would be a different color if I didn't have the red version of the device. So, device booted up, I'm gonna max out the brightness, turn off the auto brightness, and I'm gonna do what I would always do here and dive into the settings and check out the screen options. So if I head over to display here, let's see what I got. Yes, full brightness, adaptive off. You have your lighting effects in here as well. Gaming, incoming call, notifications, uh, breathe, flash, wave, 
or always on. And you can have the lighting effect only come on when your gaming is completely up to you, but it's kind of an interesting idea to have it also act as a notifier in an environment where you don't want to be buzzed, where you don't want to have sound. You could just glance over and see the light going off and know that you have a notification or an incoming call. You can also use it as a charge indicator. So that's pretty cool. Some functionality to the lighting effect, not just, not just trying to look cool, but some functionality to it. Now also display refresh. That's gonna be important on a gaming phone. That's important on any phone right now. By default, out of the box, they have the 90 Hertz setting enabled. High screen refresh brings smooth display effects. You have 60 Hertz as an option for some battery savings and then 144 Hertz for the most dynamic effects. This is just a really responsive feeling uh, display, not just for gaming, but in the OS. You can also have 144 Hertz come on uh, only when you launch into games. So you can save battery and then when you go into the games, it boosts into 144 Hertz. But for the purposes of this video, I'm gonna keep it there because I like to just, I like to feel the butter smooth. As we're well aware, we've covered it. It's now a meme. Kirk says it's a meme, therefore it's a meme. Buttery smooth. Now I'm really curious about this pop-up camera before I even jump into any games. I wanna see what happens when I launch the camera. I'm gonna allow, and I'm gonna agree. So first off, obviously we go into the rear cameras as you normally would. We have one X, we have two X. There's Kilo, he's sleeping. He's just cruising along in dreamland over there. Kilo. See, he didn't even respond and he's, oh, there he is. Go back to sleep. So then we go ahead and do the magic trick and we hit the little icon here for the front facing camera and the motor pops out and look at that. It's i uh, I'm definitely in beauty mode right now. My complexion is nowhere near that smooth. Let me just, I gotta tone that down a little bit here. 70 on the beauty scale, no, 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 no. We can't have that, we gotta go to a zero. And here we go. In three, two, one. Oh, very detailed. Very beard hair, as you guys always ask for. And so I'm gonna I'm gonna be happy with that. And that's the front facing. 20 megapixel on the front, 64 megapixel on the rear. That is still uh, some tremendous megapixels for the front facing camera. Now let's, I guess we might as well, since we're already there, we might as well do some rear shot as well. We'll do the official unbox therapy knife as you normally would. We snap 1x, 0.6 for the wide, 2x. So that gives you a little bit of camera versatility. You catch a zoom, you catch a wide, you catch a standard focal length. That's gonna be your optimal image right there. 64 megapixels to work with. Yeah, it's got a camera. The camera's not gonna be the core priority here. Did you see the phone and the RGB and the triggers and the Snapdragon 865 Plus with 16 gigabytes of RAM? Did you forget about 5,000 milliamp hours of battery life charging at 90 watts? Did you forget about charging the phone entirely in 30 minutes? I hope you didn't forget. I almost forgot. Oh, the display, I should probably say it is AMOLED, as you might imagine on a phone like this. And it's gonna be uh, 2340 by 1080, 6.65 inches. Now, one thing that you've probably noticed on these gaming phones is they don't really compete for maximum screen to body ratio. That's not, that's not really what they're looking to do. Instead, you get a forehead, you get a chin, but typically, what you get back is better audio performance with stereo sound. That's another part of the dual naming. It's the dual cameras, the dual batteries. It's also the dual stereo speakers. So actually maybe we should load up some audio real quick. We'll first test some dialogue on the Lou Later channel and then maybe even a couple of tunes here real quick. Cut out for a front facing camera. It got crazy. You remember the Pixel device, Pixel 4? It got crazy for a minute. Mm -hmm. They put the radar in there. It's a giant forehead on that thing. And uh, then it started to shrink a little bit. People were like, 
at least in the yeah, end. Yeah, it sounds great. Tons of low end stereo representation. We will do some quick music as well right now. What you got? What you playing? That's an old Unbox Therapy tune. Some might even call it a tune. Wow. The good old days. Yeah, so I'm happy with the speakers. I think they might even come to life even more when you boot into a game. Something I'm noticing, no dedicated game switch, which I kind of liked on the on the Red Magic phone. You can just you click this little switch and you're straight into the game mode. I'm also noticing right now, this phone is quite a bit lighter. Now it doesn't have the same battery setup as this guy over here. It's not quite as powerful. And I think the screen is actually a little bit smaller, but this one feels more like a typical smartphone. This one is definitely a gaming smartphone. It's more robust. You gotta imagine as well with this camera module in here, it's gonna have some weight to go with the motors and stuff. So this thing, it feels, it's hefty. All right, so instead, I think you probably hit this button here. Oh my goodness gracious. The audio is it was even thicker into the game mode. So all of a sudden now, 144 hertz gaming enabled, pyramid cooling, ultra stereo. So we have the CPU and GPU readout, a couple of different games installed. We'll start with Bullet Force, which can obviously take advantage of frame rates up above 60 as I mentioned in a recent video and showcased its ability to do so with the Red Magic 5S. Oh, wow, okay. So quick update from Kirk. I'm just gonna turn this down. It's not often I even have to turn a phone down to speak over it, but this thing is loud. So on the, on the Red Magic, you pull in from the right-hand side to get access to your various specs and settings that you would wanna have access to in game mode. On the Legion device, you pull down from the top. So you'll see here. And we can see our the quality of our connection, which is nice. Our ping, which is not so nice. <laughs> uh, GPU performance, CPU performance. The temperature, our battery life. Our current frames per second relative to our screen refresh. And then our ability to do a stream mode which I guess is gonna pop up our camera. So now we're stream, now we're streaming. Oh my goodness gracious, that's futuristic, man. This is, that's the future. You're just mobile, you just pop into a stream real quick. Now I'm not a game streamer, but if I was, this could be enticing on the, on the mobile side of things. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that away real quick. I'm just gonna come down here and turn off stream, stream mode. There's, but I noticed as well, there's a back record mode. What does it do? It's oh, for highlights. Oh, for highlights. Oh. So if you get your double kill again. Right. Uh, now what I like about this is it's also haptic. So as I scroll across this wheel, it's clicking and it's a very powerful haptic as well. This part of the menu here on the right hand side is scrollable also. So you've also got vibration, RAM clean, no call. You could turn off notifications altogether. Same with gestures, control your lighting, WhatsApp, Messenger, a lot of quick settings in here so you don't have to leave your game. I also notice this Rampage button, which is gonna just boost up your CPU, GPU, probably increase your heat at the same time in exchange for performance. So lots of performance specific stuff in there that you get to choose from and configure. And also according to Kirk, I didn't know this, but because it doesn't have a dedicated game mode switch, you can hold down on these two capacitive triggers to launch into the game mode. So it does have an option uh, other than launching it by hitting the button inside of the interface. Okay, yeah, so just like on the previous device and any device that features these uh, trigger buttons, you map them to the section of the screen where you would have your sights and where you would have obviously your fire, and then your thumbs can stay interacting with your aim. I'm gonna turn it up for maximum, for the maximum immersion. Whoa, it's loud. I thought that tree was a person.
Got one, he got me. This, it's incredible. It's just a phone. And it makes such a tremendous difference just having the shoulder buttons. I'm telling you, it's a, it really starts to feel like a controller or something so much closer to a controller experience. And I've been one of these people reluctant, especially for these style of games, to convert to playing them on mobile as opposed to on a console or on a PC. But... I mean, they've improved, the experience improves so much on a device like this. I really start to imagine that you could put some hours into it. FPS is currently 144. 144 FPS. I'll just play this a little bit more. You're addicted to it now, right? That's right. Reload! Reload! Oh, that's a long shot right there. Oh. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah, you get the point. Look, for shooting games, it's a massive difference, obviously. And uh, we're going to actually, you know what? We might as well try out another game i think we have a racing game on here as well we have need for speed here and this is another example of how you might utilize some triggers because you could have acceleration and so forth so what i can use it for steering you think oh. set it up for that so now i've got the triggers set up for turning and look at the precision I can just sort of tap them hold them Oh, I missed that jump. That was not good. Listen to the audio of this thing. Oh my God. Holy. So I think you get the point. Gaming phones, I believe they're here to stay. And it's kind of, it's just amazing what they've achieved in such a short period of time in taking the smartphone, and obviously the software is a big part of it, the games that you have to choose from, but taking the smartphone and really making it a far better gaming experience through this, these new types of inputs. Now on this one, you add to it this front-facing camera and you have a real gaming and game streaming machine, which is not something I thought that I was gonna see in a smartphone anytime soon but here it is in the form of the new Legion Phone Dual from Lenovo. So Lenovo's in the gaming phone game. Obviously we have the ROG phone, the latest one. We have the devices from Red Magic that are in the mix and also the devices from Black Shark that are in the mix. There's lots of great options out there. This one might be the ultimate powerhouse with the 90 watt charging, the dual batteries, 865 plus, 16 gigs of RAM, 512 storage, 144 hertz display. If you're hunting for a spec sheet, OLED, dual front facing cameras, I mean, this is a spec sheet, definitely. Now it does come at the expense of weight and heftiness, but I think for the people that are interested in this type of phone, you're prepared for that anyways.